Hey guys, Chris here. Update 10.0 has been released to everyone, meaning you guys can finally try out everything that is new with Season 10 of Vigor. So with no more delay, let's get right into the coverage of this update. So let's start off with what was under NDA for the entire duration of the preview build. Starting off, we have the Battle Pass. This Battle Pass is beautiful, with great cosmetics and skins that are all focused around the idea of Special Forces. This is a great focus and idea, since military-based seasons are always great and always appreciated. We will have a video on our own thoughts regarding every single item in the Battle Pass, but to make this video not too long, I don't think it should be in this video. But long story short, most of the cosmetics look really nice, and the skins in particular are also really nice. Moving on from that, we also have another thing that is in this battle pass, which is the new cassettes. These are a new thing that can be played using the cassette player found in the basement, and these cassettes, when played, reveal more about the lore and tell the story in Vigor. This is great for those of us who love the lore like I do, and I'm really excited to see them take this in the future and also talk about the lore that was really covered by these cassettes. But once again, this is another matter of if I covered the cassettes here, this video would be really long, and there's so much I want to talk about with them, so I think they're going to get a video of their own somewhere down the week. Moving on from there, though, we have a new gun, the LED-5A1, which is a gold AR that fires 5.56 in both full auto and single. This gun is very similar to an A1 with less recoil and less broom, however, but that comes at the cost of costing a lot more since it's a gold gun. In first person, it has a quite clear and easy to use sight that when combined with its unique first person effect allows you to see through the sight despite consistently firing at a target so really good weapon and i'm really excited to see some people get their hands on it i know there are fears about this weapon being broken but me and bo will be talking about how to properly handle this thing moving forward um next we have the new shootout map kirsten and it is nice to finally have another sh shootout map and while it is definitely sad that the map wasn't ready yet to be a full encounter map I'll take what we can get. I'm hopeful that in the near future, maybe 10.1, we will see a playlist be made where you can shuffle through both maps. That would be really nice and I'd really appreciate that. Then we have this season's consumable, the flashbang. This consumable will blind you for three seconds at a time and has a lot of tactical usage. This comes with some adjustments to the throwing UI, so now you can throw it in two different styles of arcs. And while these arcs are pretty similar, you know, more versatility, plus the new throwable, it's appreciated. Now, in less important matters, the KS-23 and Sawdust are now both secondaries. This should, in theory, positively affect their frequency, and also make a ton of sense, considering their power as weapons is not very high and they're both pretty bad. And then lastly, they did a minor UI change on the little bar that they used to boost, so now they look a little bit more fancy. And there's no longer a limit on how much you can boost. You can boost as much as you want. So if you want a gold crate and you're by yourself, not in a duo, you can boost all the way up to the gold crate and no one can stop you. If you want to spend as much money as you want, now you can. But that is it for this season and for this video, guys. Um, I hope you all get a chance to play the new season as soon as possible. It is quite a lot of fun and I like a lot of the things they did here and hope we get a chance to try it all out. But until then, and until next time, this has been Christopher Beast. See y'all next time.